Good morning. <clears throat> it's Carol Martine. I'm so happy to have you back with me in my studio. And I thought we'd have a visit today because I have a few things that I wanted to show and tell about and just share. And so I thought I'd start with this. For those of you who have been uh, listening to my vlogs and watching, you know that I have quite a weakness for special things that I can use or think about using, basically, in my art projects. And since our last uh, visit, I found this jewel. As you can see, it is an album. It is velvet, beautiful dark blue velvet with super embossed gold on the front and just plain embossing on the back. And the condition is quite nice. In order to get this velvet cleaned up, I just used low-tack tape, laid it across, ripped it off, and the dust and dirt of the years came off uh, at that time. I was, this was just in a plastic bag, in a bin with goodies in one of my go-to antique malls. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, I wonder. When I saw the condition of it, I realized that this might be just a gem, and it turned out to be a gem. The only problem with it is that it is cracked here on the inside cover and the frontispiece, but if you will notice, this is a moiré paper, or it actually, I'm not sure that it isn't. Yes, it is. It's moiré paper, which I didn't know even existed way back when. And included in it was this little almost matching beauty. And it is just so wonderful to find a piece of ephemera like this, heavily embossed, gold, blue, and inside is a card written uh, in German with handwriting on it, uh, dated the 27th of July, 1862. And that was a little added gem. And I imagine this was closed with sealing wax. But here we have that. And then, this beautiful writing, again in German, dated 19th of April, 1873. And since this is an album, I'm wondering if it isn't an autograph album of some nature. I do wish that this was more readable or that I understood German, except this says Evan Evans. I'm not too sure. The paper, as you can see, this is tied. And here is another one, also dated April 1873. Another one. Note the ties are still intact after all of these years. And this one in blue ink. Well, this one absolutely made me smile all over. 1873 again. But blue ink and beautiful, beautiful handwriting. This almost looks as though it were printed. Isn't it it's incredible handwriting that people had? And this page is a little bit weak. But here we have now, essentially, a book. And here's one that I found just by turning pages. 
and oh, I wish I knew what these people had written, but aren't these lovely? Some not dated. All of them quite lovely. But many pieces of very antique paper, and it would be drawing paper because of the quality of it. And then when I was holding the, and you'll notice the back, the moire paper in the back has stayed intact. But then when I was dusting and cleaning the outside, I noticed the thing that I love, love, love is gold leafed, and the pages are gold leaf on the edges. So, I thought you might like to see my share. I don't know when or if I'm going to do anything with this other than to just enjoy it. Time will tell. Next thing I thought I'd share was this. That I'm sure some of you might have seen, but I found this last little goodie at Hobby Lobby. Nice, heavy watercolor paper, an accordion book, and oh my, isn't this just waiting to be a source of great fun. Beautiful covers. And that was a little treat to myself because I decided I was a good girl that day. And here, I invested at the dollar store in a small clipboard and decided that for travel, I would want something small to work on. So I picked a page out of my junk journal, watercolor paper, a page from a coloring book, A girl that I drew. I'm learning how to work uh, in a different way to do my faces and I was quite happy with her and I'm going to practice more of this method of drawing faces. So I thought I'd include that. A piece of paper with gold and silver paint on it on one side from my cleanup book that I always have at hand, an old Thurber novel, a nice piece of watercolor paper that has a stencil. I believe this is from Jane Davenport. This is a wood work very nicely to practice my watercolor ladies on and a spare piece of mixed media paper and I thought well if that doesn't work as a, a fun thing to have I don't know what would just small enough to tuck into my bag with a few supplies uh, a minimal number of supplies and just enough that I can work on it and put it aside but my idea Carol's idea of a travel project and then I've been noticing I'm sure you've seen a lot of this but I noticed that people are doing something called glue books I didn't know what they were to be honest and I've watched a few of my favorite um, teachers on YouTube working and I thought to myself, self, how can I do this to suit me, to meet my needs, but following the same concept? And I had these two that I'd gotten on sale and uh, Strathmore mixed media paper, nice, nice quality. So I decided to experiment with one of them. This one will be for something else. So I asked my husband if he would drill two holes so that I could put uh, rings through them. And he did that for me. And then I covered the front and back with some collage papers. So now I have a, and these will, of course, as I work with them, will become loose and that will be fine. But 
I thought I could use this as a glue book. Now, a glue book for me will be mostly glued down collage pieces of items that tickle me, but then I do want to leave some area uh, on the pages, on many of the pages, for uh, painting and embellishing and just pen and ink work, whatever tickles my fancy at the moment. So this was a Carol learning piece for a glue book. And I spent a few nights going through some magazines that I had that have needed to be culled. And I found some lovely, a nice collection of words. Oh my. Paint what you are, paint what you believe, paint what you feel. Oh my, my, yes, isn't that the bottom line for all of us? And this great pile of interesting, interesting pay, uh, pictures. I loved when I found a tray full of art materials. Someone's collection, a picture of someone's collection of uh, pencils and so forth. So this is what I have been working on. Now I am absolutely weak at the subject of books. As you can tell, books are my, my love. And I found some pictures like this. So I had great fun cutting out and getting ready. Oh, look, more, more painterly things here. Some watercolor, someone's experiment, and can you believe Oh my. So, this project box with this glue book, Carol style, are some things that I'm going to be working on and I thought I might share with you. I had been planning on having a vacation uh, Actually, it was supposed to be starting uh, yesterday, but uh, I had suddenly, out of a clear blue, a tooth that I found out, believe it or not, in this day and age, could not be saved. So I had to have some oral surgery. The tooth is gone, and that's quite an experience, listening to a tooth being broken out of your head, which is a new thing for me, has never happened, and so I'm on a prolonged period of getting ready to replace that tooth, and the trip had to be canceled, and then I noticed that we had been planning on going to uh, San Antonio, and then I noticed the weather that was happening, and as my BFF, since we were 14 and 16, said, Carol, you weren't meant to go, and thank God you didn't because your car could have been a projectile. So, this is the road of experimentation that I'll be taking next. I hope that you have enjoyed sharing the fun and also the disappointment because this was going to be on the trip to San Antonio. Now it'll probably have to be on the trip to the mountains at the beginning of May. If you have enjoyed visiting with me, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.